agree. Uh, which brings me to the next question. Uh, sorry, we are going to go between no communication no and national guidance. Um, there is a significant gap between the media and the government. Uh, it could be because of narrative control or even just, I don't understand why, mm. but how can we fix it? Um, I I agree. I don't know if it's a gap per se, yeah. because you find that government provides most of the content for these media houses. That is true. Right? Mm. I think what it is, is again, we need to control the narrative. Yeah. We need to control the narrative and uh ingrain in 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 these media houses the, the element of patriotism and national guidance yeah because they need to understand the impact of the work they do the fourth estate is should be your partner you know by all means at the partner at least of the government that is that is in power yeah. not to to hide the wrongs because that's what every, the, everyone's mind goes there yes. when we report about the things then we're in trouble no but many times the, pe- the way people angle news mm. You imagine you buy a paper and from the first headline to page six, it's disaster after another, after another. Yeah. What does that do to the psychology of the citizens, for example? Well, I mean, what do you expect? That's not to say that bad things don't happen. No one, no country, no country, no country in the world delivers 100% to its citizens. Yes. No one should tell you a lie. Hmm? Where, in fact, I think we, what we should do as government is to manage expectations is to communicate um, in such a way that you say, for example, you're going to deliver a road. If there's a delay, you come in and say there's a delay. You may give the reason, you may not. But you are managing expectations along the way, not just to go quiet and disengage. Mm. But you find that our media partners would rather have a sensational story to sell because most of them are private and profit-making. Yeah, bad news makes news. (laughs) So... You, you're not going to dictate where you have no control. Yeah. It's very difficult. What I see most countries doing is that they have their own media. Strong, in fact. Mm. Very strong media. media owned, I mean, private, uh, government-owned media. Yeah. So you amplify that one. You fund it. You give it all the news. You hire the best people in the business. Always train them yeah. and then give them the news. Then the rest will operate around you know, them. Around them. Yeah. So that that would me, would be for me one of the strategies a government can do because you can't control someone who's trying to make money, mm. and if they believe sensational stories will get them will pull the crowds, or will sell the papers. I mean that's a strategy, a business strategy. Yeah. So, a government and every government should have its own media. Yeah. Hmm? True. Okay. 